It's supposed to help my neck. Nothing helps. Nothing helps my neck. Hi, I'm Melanie. Hi, I'm Molly, and welcome to our channel. Today we have stuff to show you. She's showing you her. I have two boxy charms. Boxy charm. I just put it all in one box. Oh, did you? Yeah, because we haven't filmed in a while. We haven't, and and so that's when I usually do my empties, which are just so boring. Every I just, now and then you have a different product. I, I think it's just boring, boring. So I have brought backup reading material for the gang here, and hopes that if this. I want to talk about this more than I want to talk about empty cosmetics. Well, you can talk cosmetics. about whatever you want to talk about. Okay. So, you begin our extravaganza. I do okay. want to say mm -hmm. that the Bible study on Psalms, that you have requested information before, we'll have a link to it. It's six sessions. Hopefully, I'll get better as we go because I was just in a room with a camera and it was that part was a little bit awkward and cringy at times but it's god's word and i would love for you to go and participate in the study of psalms link below there you go there you go okay now boxy charm away boxy charm the only thing that i'm missing is a patrick ta beauty major volume mascara because um I quickly went through it looking for a mascara one day, and I grabbed that out of my boxy charm. Didn't like it. Gave it to Day Day, Daisy. Okay. Gave it to Daisy. So, so what's next? All right, I have a Natasha, da na na, <laughs> Cupid eyeshadow palette. Three mattes, two shimmers. Um, very neutral. I do kind of like this little cranberry color we have going on right there. I kind of like that palette. Yeah, it's got a little shimmer. This would look really pretty even on top or like on the inner over something like that. Uh, that's a great crease color right there. You need to do a look one day. I do. With that. But yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty color. I oh. mean, a pretty palette. So well, I'll be looking in here. Y'all have oh, forty eight dollars. Oh. Sorry. Whoa, sorry. I am forty eight dollars. This is. Does it still have stuff in it? Yes. It didn't work out for me. It says, kick yellow tones, brass to the curb. So it's yeah. purple shampoo. It's purple shampoo, yeah. and it's been in there. I forgot kind of why I didn't like it. Yeah, why didn't you like it? I'm not sure, but something went wrong. Ooh, it smells delightful. Would you like to try it? I don't have blonde hair. Oh, well. Not that, really anymore. I'm about to get my hair cut. Maybe it <laughs> was August. the pump that didn't. I don't know. But let me tell you, I got it like at TJ Maxx or something on clearance. Well, that says eight ninety nine. Well, compare it sixteen dollars. Well, yeah, and that's a lot of shampoo. So for nine dollars, that is what for if, that much shampoo it is a really good price. What if I made a mistake and put this in the wrong thing, and this was really something to keep? Well, then you need to try it again. I may take it into yeah. I may take that back home because I don't I don't know why I did that. All right, your turn. Oh, this is boring. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to kind of go down my list. Is this it? Uh, Dominique. Dominique Cosmetic Silk Tone Cream Blush. $22. And it's, I think, a peach color. Warm peach. So, I do you wear peach? Uh, I'm not opposed to trying peach. You guys know that I have a hot pink blush that I love. What's it? Well, it's uh, it was Elf, but they... I guess this continued it, and so they told me to try ColourPop, some kind of color, and one from the dollar store, so I have two of them, and they, they're pretty good. Like, they, they match really well. What do so, you mean? I'll try that. What do you mean they told you? The Elf? No. These people. Oh, they're subscribers. Yes. Well, that was nice. I was like, that's my favorite blush, and they were like, well, you should try that. There was one oh, was at like, the dollar store, and I got that. Because I was like, we have no cloud. Wow, who's Elf who's, is calling you? Oh, yeah, telling they you to it's not okay. discontinued anymore. Yeah. But I have been trying uh, cream contours lately that I like. And so I will give a cream blush a try. I just 
I didn't grow up with the lipstick era where you just put your lipstick on your cheeks, so you just, there's no telling. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I really don't know what it hurts. Oh, but then at the same wow. time, that could make me look really orange, y'all, because I'm so That's pale. That's kind of oompa loompa. I know, it may not work for me, but I will try it, but I need to try it on the day. I'm not going to be at work all day. Yeah, it may be blended really well or something. I could look very orange. Okay, I have nothing in here that I'd really like to speak to. Y'all know I just keep buying the same old stuff. This is my CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing yeah. Lotion. Angie with Angie Hot and Flashy. She recommended it, and I've never quit. So there's, there's that. I mean, what can you say about stuff after a while? And then this is my kind of go-to mascara. Telescopic? Yeah, telescopic. I'm liking this right now. So that's what I'm using. And that's the last I'm going to talk about because that's boring. You don't have... Oh, I really want to figure out. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I'm not very technical when it comes to this stuff. How I can do a reaction video because I have videos that I save from TikTok that I think, oh, I want mom to see this. And I think it would be like so fun if you watched it and they saw your reaction and watched it with us at the same time they're not going to be those crazy ugly ones are no they? they're no there might be a couple of just funny ones to me but some of them are are like you would like or you would have a comment on okay because i still haven't found the portion of tiktok that i'm finding that you, yeah i know yes it's all very bizarre whatever if TikTok has aisles, I'm still down the wrong aisle That's as far as way. selections. It's, you know, I had an affair with my mailman. Oh, no. And married his son or oh, something. You know, I don't know where you're getting good TikTok. Well, it takes time when you like things and they show you more of those things. And you can hold down a button and say, not interested, which I also do. Yeah, you yeah, do that. I I've, Mm, I just haven't really ventured over there. I don't know. This, this What's came that? With, it came with too much, and I'm sorry, Cores or Cores. I'm not reading that. I'm not going to go through and read all of it. Oh, well, you but can't. We don't good have luck that to kind you. Of, we don't have that kind of time. I know. I'm going to put it over here, and I'll never pick it up again. But I can tell you this is a lightweight gel moisturizer that blurs pores, which sounds right up oh, my alley. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, $36. Well, let me know if that works. I know. I'm, I'm getting older, and I can tell my pores are getting bigger. Well, I'm, it's I'm already I'm already older, and I'm already there. Do you need to put some on your hand and feel it or any of that? Yeah, my hands are clean. Well, so. I don't care. I'm just going to... It's so strange. It's, it smells okay. Not fantastic. I like it. I like the smell. But it, it feels strange to be this age, but I'm glad I'm this age. I have nothing against this age. But I do look down and like my friends and I, we were all looking at our arms the other day. Why are you jolting back from me? Because I want you looking too carefully at them. Mine are just, Be look at that. If I do it this way, I get them too. I have really dry skin. I'm never hydrated, so I have creepy skin. Well, we, we saw an advert, Pam and I uh, saw an advertisement the other day. It was called Crepey race. If y'all tried crepey race, it looks like they're spending millions on advertisement. So we were just like, we need to try crepe race. Yeah. Because my arms are starting to look like my mama's and my mimi's. Now the good part about that is I loved mama and mimi. So <laughs> in some ways I'm loving my arms. In some ways I'm like, oh, it wasn't quite I could ready see for though, that. I know, like when when it just starts changing, it's right. it does. It just a continual change. Continual change. Okay. These are books that I I have enjoyed. Since I can't do crafts and can't do painting because everything is still in the storage unit till we get our house built. And that isn't even begun, y'all. Isn't even begun. So I got involved with this author's book. And her name is Tessa Afshar. And it says she's award-winning. But what she does is she writes biblical, inspirational, historical fiction. So, for example, this is a book about Rahab in the Bible. It's oh. based on Rahab in the Bible, that story. Mm -hmm. She researches that period of time in history 
and she brings those scriptures and that story to life. Not that the Bible needs any additions to it, if we're not talking about that, but she brings that time period and kind of helps you understand culture. Culture. That's always helpful. Life, life for women at mm -hmm. that point. And it is in a way that holds my attention. I've enjoyed it. I've read it. And then I just feel very uh, encouraged and very inspired. And it even, I would say, makes me want to, when I open my Bible and I read about people, when you're reading the Bible and you just see somebody's name on your Bible page, it's flat. It just looks flat unless you take that extra step to think in your mind that that person had feelings, they had parents, they had siblings, they had marriages. You know, they were people mm -hmm. like us, culturally maybe somewhat different, but it just brings another dimension to, to reading and studying the Bible. So, do I take any of this as gospel truth? I take it as what she says it's, it is, which is historical fiction. But would I rather be reading this and some of the other stuff that's out there? And the answer is yes. And so, I wanted to do a giveaway. This is her 10th anniversary edition. And I have to say, I read it, so you're getting a used book. But if you would be interested in reading this author, and passing it along if you don't care for it or whatever, would you leave a comment down below? And what could their comment be? Oh, just leave any comment below, okay? Maybe it should have book in it because if someone's asking about your makeup, they may be thinking, I don't want to read that book. <laughs> yeah, so put something about the book in there. It's it's silly to stress so much over a word and a comment. Just leave a comment. <laughs> Just leave a comment. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. So that's Tessa Afshar. Tessa okay, show Afshar. them something okay. else from your pile. All right. Sandbar Beauty. Where is that? What is this? That's not it. I don't even know. I just need to grab something and I'm just going to have to find it. Okay. This is KVD. I think that's on this one. KVD Beauty XO Lip Gloss. All right, KVD, they have had drama in the past. They have? Yeah. I, oh, was uh, that Kat Von D? Yes, but she no longer owns the company. Yeah? Ooh, smell that. It's like vanilla -y. Oh, I could eat that. Yeah, you think yeah, you're vanilla. opening up a, a, a can mm. of frosting. Yeah, that smells really good. Uh, how much is it? $19. It's a it's a high pigment, bold, high performance lip gloss. I I want to put some on, but I don't have a yeah. mirror. So we're just we're just gonna we'll just kinda Oh, you put it on your tooth. Yeah. I, I had a feeling, I see that I <laughs> But if it's high pigment, then how am mm -hmm. I gonna how am I gonna know? How are you gonna know what? If I have it all just kind of smoosh them. I mean, together. does it look I like it. I I like it. it. Doesn't taste bad. Oh, it looks very moisturizing. Does it still have on my teeth? No, it's off, and it's not super super glossy. But no, it's not super sticky. I, I mean, it's got I, you know, it's a lip gloss, but it's not like sticky. Yeah, I like that. And it's drying down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, All right. Pretty color. My next book is by Tessa Afshar again. <gasps> And this one is called The Thief of Corinth. And there's no story in the Bible that correlates with this, but it talks about the city of Corinth. And, oh. and the characters and everything is set in that biblical, that biblical ancient times. I think it was a great, it was an excellent story. And her path, this character, well, I don't want to give it away, but I like how this Tessa Afshar, how she writes... Your, the character, her path crosses with people that you would recognize from the Bible. Oh, I like that. You know, they just kind of cross in unexpected ways. So I'm going to give this book away too. Living in the duplex, I don't need to be having a, I, there's not a lot of space. So once again, if you would like to get a book, 
ship to you, leave a comment down below. And there you go. There you go. Avrani? How would you say that? A A V R A N I. No. You do good. Balance Restoring Serum. All right. Where are you at? This costs sixty dollars. Wow. This gentle exactly. alcohol free toning serum clarifies your skin and minimizes the appearance of pores and yada yada yada. So that's what this is. Oh yeah, it's so this is, is just that glass? Yes, glass it is. Bottle? That's probably why it's sixty dollars. Oh. I can't sell anything out of it. Yeah. But yeah, it's glass. All so right. there we go. Well, let me see if there's anything in my empty um What's this? Oh, this is more, this is sculpting cream. It's supposed to help my neck. Nothing helps. Nothing helps my neck. But I keep trying these pro. I know you're seeing how gunky it is. She never likes how gunky my stuff is, but I use it and it's gunky. It just is. But that's City Beauty Multi Action Sculpting Cream. I like how it smells. I like how it feels. I don't know that it changed any portion of my old neck. There you go. But I would probably buy this again. It's moisturizing and smooth. You like City Beauty. Yeah, I think yeah. I do. You've been, yeah, you've mentioned them before. Yeah. Cover FX Gripping Primer. Okay, sometimes gripping primers can be pore enhancing primers for me. Oh, really? That's because they make it where, I don't know, it just seems okay, like Okay, what it. about that Elf Pore Putty? Do you know what I'm talking about? I do, do know what you're talking about. It? I do have Does that. Does it make things worse? I don't that's what I've been it. using. Oh, that's what I've been using. I don't ever use it. Where is yeah. this? Cover, oh, there it is. $38 alcohol free gel primer. I will try it. Uh, I have some milk makeup gripping primer. And I, it's expensive, and I was like, oh, this looks like the best thing ever. But I never like how my makeup turns out when I use it as a primer. It is very sticky, though. So if you have very oily skin, I could see where something like that would be helpful to you. But my skin is very dry, and so I should probably know better than to use something like that. See? This is in my empty there you deal. Go. Yeah. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I like the consistency of it and how it feels. I don't know if it's filling any of my pores or not, but just that it says putty. It's like you feel like an artist. Well, no, I feel like a, a, a re furniture or house remodeler with the putty <laughs> or the spackle. So you're remodeling your face. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not so sure. I keep, I bought another one and so apparently I like it enough to to do that you know my how does that feel very sticky oh. it's very sticky um and i think that that can also lead to my makeup being heavier than i want because it's just holding on for dear life to everything i put on it um but my my primer that i always love to have on hand even if i don't use it daily is the elf green oh yeah not the there's two green ones and it's oh. like the original green primer and there sometimes I use that and I think why don't I use it all the time because it's just it gives such a pretty finish hmm. anyway but I do like elf has some good stuff yeah I don't we'll see when yeah it comes to that. the price is right this I think I it said brilliant eyes and I just thought oh I want brilliant eyes and then you put here put on your because I don't care yeah Look at that. Can you imagine that on my eyes? It'd be like if I was trying to... Have you tapped it out? Like you tapped it Like, out. okay, so there is how it looks. It's I don't glittery. know if you can see it. Like, have you, like, smoothed it out where it's not just all white? Oh, my goodness. See how sparkly it is? Oh, that's just too much. It's it's hideous. It's too much. It's, well, it's terrible for me. I think it would if, be bad for me. If a 10 year old wanted to wear this at their dance recital on stage. Oh, it would be super cute on Sky and Bria. Like, yes. they would look adorable with it. But this was horrible for me. For me. I'm sorry, Brilliant Eyes. Who puts out Brilliant Eyes? That I, is something. Liquid. It's liquid shadow. But it. 
Yeah, I used it one day as if, and I had to just go in and and start up. Yeah. Wow, look how. I mean, it just went on and on and on. Wow. If you are really wanting a highlight, you know how some people do like the tip of their nose and they drag it down the middle. Oh or my. You know, you could totally use this for a highlight. Well, people call you Rudolph, the white nose reindeer, if you had this on. And that I seems can't a little holographic. Who... Like there's different Yeah, colors. L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal. So like I said, for a dance recital for a young person or maybe going out for um, a disco. Yeah, a disco. <laughs> You, you sort of would look like the disco ball in it. But yeah. do you have any reason to keep this? Because I put it in my trash. Mm -mm. And I don't think you want Unless, Hattie getting into that. Yeah, every now and then I'll let Hattie play in some of her specific oh, makeup. But you would never get... That would just be getting on everything. Oh, Hattie. All right, what you oh, got? What is this? Sandbar Shadow Light Eyeshadow Primer goes oh. perfectly with whatever she had going on over there. All right, Sandbar, where are you at? Sandbar Beauty, $28. It's a sheer and creamy intensifying oh. eyeshadow base. So it's something that you would put on before you use Natasha Denona. Yeah. And I don't typically use a primer because <laughs> I need to be able to blend because I'm not very good at eyeshadow. So anything uh. that's going to hold on to it, but it's very smoothing. I mean, it's very soft and smooth. It it does not stay white. I think you're good at doing eyeshadows. And I think we should say that because when we started this channel, we were just like, it was very makeup oriented. Yeah. Although I, I, you said I'm not good at makeup. I'm not good at makeup. <laughs> but my hands, I've got gripping stuff and that brilliant yeah. stuff. And now I have this primer and Honestly, that gripping stuff I could use for eyeshadow primer. Do you recognize this author? Francine Rivers. I have never read a book of Francine Rivers that I have not enjoyed. I've only read nice. one book of Francine Rivers. Yes. And I loved it. Yes. And why did you read it? Because it made me regret. And then what did I say? Make John John read it. I said, whoever you marry, whoever you marry needs to read that book, Redeeming Love. And he read it. And he did. That's one of the reasons he's my favorite. Because <laughs> he did. Wasn't that really sweet of him? Yeah, I, I finished reading it to him on a trip to Arkansas. Well, whatever. He listened, yeah. he read, whatever. Yeah. But this is her book, and it's called A Lineage of Grace. It's five stories of unlikely women who changed eternity. And she has done the historical fiction part. She's taken Tamar and Rahab and Ruth and Bathsheba and Mary and brought them to life. So she has research that time and just created beautiful stories. I just don't want to mislead anyone to think that she, we're adding to. It's she historical. read the Bible and she was inspired. Yes. And I think anytime and I, I I think anytime someone can help bring the word to life where I can envision myself standing in some sandals in the middle of a village. Yeah. You know and help me build those surroundings in my mind, then I appreciate that because I, I feel like I just take that and better understand God's word and what, like you said, what they were going through. It makes through the and, characters more three dimensional. Yes. What else? Uh, uh, what else? What else I like? Is that good English? The other things I like about this book is that each character, you could actually do a Bible study. Each woman's story includes a six part Bible study per. Perfect for personal study or group discussion. Now, I didn't use it that way, but I did look it over, and it's excellent questions, and it just kind of spurs you on to want to know more. But this is an excellent, it's an excellent book, and I like it. Now I'm thinking, do I want to give it away? You've already read it. I read it, but what if I want to do a Bible, Bible study on it? I'm going to wait on this one, y'all. Maybe on another video. Oh, is that being greedy? I don't want to be greedy, but hey, y'all. What's, the, what's the fruit? What is it that you asked us this morning? The fruit of repentance. What's the fruit of repentance when it comes to being greedy? 
and it's generosity and I'm holding on to this book. But y'all I'm give these two are in a giveaway. I maybe just need to look at it another week or something. Hey, I, I think just, that's fine. They understand that she is just Bible a, studies. She's the most beautiful writer. She is really good. You know, it makes me wish that I could do something like that. You could. I don't know. You could. She could. She could. All right, this is what Daisy's already wanting to try, and I don't think I want to share talking about the oh. fruit of repentance when it comes to greediness. Elemis. Elemis. Where are you at, Elemis? Right here. $50. It's a prebiotic overnight sleeping cream that leaves dry my skin, thirsty my skin, feeling silky soft and radiant. Which you wish your skin wish. would be. Yeah. I had something of theirs. Did you give me something of theirs? And I liked it, whatever Maybe. it was. Maybe. It was very... It was that, good. Yeah. You want to try? You want to... $50 yes. right there. That's probably $5 you just took. I don't know how some of this stuff is so expensive. Oh. Yeah, see, that feels really good. It feels really good. And I'm putting it on. I can't show people, but... What? Look at that. What did you do? See, don't... Doesn't it look like I have arthritis or something there? Yeah. But I don't. Those are... Uh, that's calluses from writing so much. Yes, that's calluses. My from calluses, writing. I don't write. Isn't that proper. horrible looking? No, and so I finally looked it weird. up on. It does. It looks very weird and it makes me very self conscious. And Bob said, Oh, it's probably a wart. And I said, No, I've looked it up and. There, you Googled it? I Googled it. Yes, I did. And it's a real thing. And I think I hold my pen so hard and I, and I write a lot lot and yeah, so her I, notes are extensive when it comes to well and I told you I was keeping a journal yeah. that we should never find I try not to be mean in it <laughs> I would be surprised if you were <laughs> do you have do you have more stuff I don't want to cut you don't off don't have no, because a lot of times I'll write it and then I'll say, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I have such Lord. evil thoughts on that. Oh, this is $50? Brushes, why are they so expensive? Whose brushes are those? La, La, La Russe. Yeah. La Russe, I don't know. But I do like the little texture on the on the things. But like this one, I'll never use that one. Well, what what do you what are you supposed to use it for? I don't know if it's like foundation. Does it even tell you in here? I think it, it does. says a flat angle, a contour blending, and an angled shading. But it's not flat. It's oh, this is contoured, I guess. I, yeah, and that one's angled, and that one's domed. I don't see any flat a oh, flat angle. That's kind of humpy. Well, yeah, I don't know. Do you need a, a funky brush? I don't know what I would do with that. This one. It looks I, soft. It's very soft. I could see using that for blush or something. But And then yeah. I'm, I'm always good with a good eyeshadow brush. $50, though, y'all. That's a lot for brushes. Well, just anything in my Shadow body. Moon. So this is what you put. What is this Shadow Moon? Where? How much is that? Shadow Moon, this is $15. So you just put it underneath and you do it. And so anything that falls down, it doesn't land on your, you know, yeah, on your thing. Well, that's clever, I'm sure. So, yep, A reusable that. shadow shield. You just wash that sucker off, I guess. And then the last thing I've got, it, yeah, is this. What is this? It's a base blue. It says night. What about wet, wet and dry? Dry. Here, turn it oh, so they sorry. can see that. But like it, yeah. But what's wet funny? And dry. Funny packaging. Um, dry day beauty cleansing wipes. Water active. Water active cleansing wipe. Okay. Like it takes off your makeup? Ready to go towelettes that whisk away face and eye makeup without irritations. 
the dry beauty wipes foam up once activated with water and gently okay. remove any excess oil and dead cells. And then the wet ones, I guess just take off makeup removing wipe. So do you use them together? Uh, wipe can be used as a pair for double cleansing. Yeah. After a heavy makeup after an evening out. Or I guess you can use it individually. Now how much would that be? This is $21. $21. $21. And so it would last yeah. you for, if you did like they suggested and used two a day, it would last you... One week. That would be... Right. Yeah. That would be like uh, about $90 a One, month. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's ten. Okay. So I, I don't know. You you have to nice. really. I think you would need to really love those. Yeah. No. I would. I'll I'll use them because yeah. I have them. But and they're great for travel, probably. Oh, yeah. Especially dry that you activate because I hate when I have makeup remover wipes and they've dried out. You yeah. know, and you're like oh, that didn't take off anything. Yeah. 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 So All right, so that is the deluxe boxy charm box. Yeah, but that's times two because we've gone. Oh, we've waited. Yeah, so, so I had two of them. So some of this is just ancient news for people. Right? Oh yeah. Well, we're sorry we're not more current <laughs> at this beauty <laughs> channel that we have. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, we've yeah. really kind of become. I don't even know. Maybe you guys can tell us what kind of channel we are. Yeah. Life. Man. We're not lifestyle. <laughs> well, what would be a lifestyle? I don't know. Well, we'll study it. Just you feel we'll study it. Well, if y'all come, we'll study then that. we'll just be friends talking together. Yeah. We're, yes. There you go. All right. Oh goodness. Well, that was enjoyable. I'd say for the most part. <laughs> so leave a comment below if you would like me to send you a book, and. I think I'm supposed to have rules, but I didn't think of them before I got on here. So mm -hmm. I guess it needs to be in the United States of America. I don't even know how postage yeah. and mail works anymore. And I'm sorry if that's real, that's leaving people out. But I guess I should say that. She, we don't ever, I was going to say she, and then it sound, sounded, anyway, we don't ever know really what we're fully doing. Yeah, we just arrive and then just sit here and then start talking to you. Yeah, we don't really ever have it together fully. So thank you for coming along for the ride. <laughs> all right, Molly, I have said all I need to say, I think. I got I got nothing. Okay, we hope you have a good week and we'll see you next time on the channel. We'd sure appreciate it if you would hit like. It's totally up to you as always. And subscribe and share even if possible that would be that would just be too much to ask for but see you next time okay <laughs> bye bye I've been like right now don't now yeah. stop it I'm and then stop it so then when we get it. through I, I knew you went through it I knew you went through my box <laughs> use anything. I just but I knew that you went through it Ugh. Ugh. I knew it happened I had a feeling that this day's gonna be a good day. And then go something like that. Yep. Get out of there. No, that's mine. And when you move back to close, I can help you find those items. I do want to go see your things place. that you, uh, Things that you should have in your decor, own decor closet. So why don't you get on your shoes and get ready? And we'll venture over there. I think you should see where you're going to gonna the, live. You need to... Come on. You need to what? She needs to give you a little... Am I too close? Like, are we in the center? I feel like I'm just right up on her, which John Jonathan says usually is what I need to do. Yeah, we're really supposed to... Now, I did give Daisy... Yeah. My Patrick Ta Volume Mascara. What did you think of it? I haven't used it. Oh. And it's well, retail for twenty nine dollars. Well when you gave it to me I got a style on my eye. So I didn't use anything for a couple days. Oh. So I got scared to use it. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm, oh, I want to just. Are we both in it and kind of in the middle, Daisy? I think so. Yeah. And if I sit up, am I still good? Yes. And do, do I have any crazy gray hairs that are just like, like fat? Because that's how they do. Like. How am I supposed to see that from here? Well, look in the camera. I don't see anything. I just see your finger. <laughs> well, now I probably disturb some of them. We're going, right? Oh, yeah. Y'all been going for four minutes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Get dressed so we can go see yeah, your mom. I'm not supposed to get dressed while your stuff is well, in Well, all you have to do is slip on shoes, really. Yeah. No, I'll just wait till you are done then. Okay. And that was Daisy. That was Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I said, I, we mentioned you on our channel that you're elusive and... And secretive, and she said, "No, I'm not." <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, you are." Yes, she is. Oh well, maybe I am a little bit. Oh my goodness, yeah. that girl. Okay, are you ready? 